Hey, this is Will Middleton from Lifter LMS. In this video, I wanted to give you a rundown of what's new in Lifter LMS 6.0. So let's take a look at some of the new options Lifter LMS 6.0 brings. And the bulk of our new features are in this engagements area here. You can see we have a few more new tabs that have been added under engagements and the certificate system has been overhauled. So we'll dive into mostly talking about that in this video. So when you update to Lifter LMS 6.0, all of your old certificates are going to be fine. You don't have to worry about any breaking issues with certificates updating. They'll all have this legacy tab on them. And so if I were to edit one of these legacy certificate templates, you'll see it looks exactly the same as it did. It's got this general WYSIWYG editor that WordPress has always had there. But if I go back out to certificates and I add a new one, I go to create a new certificate template, we're gonna see a bit of a different experience. We have the WordPress Gutenberg block editor, you can see here, where we have all of the blocks we can work with, like paragraphs, headings, and all of that fun stuff. And that's how the new certificate system works in Lifter LMS. So let's explore some of these features. As you can see, we have the same merge codes that we had before, as well as uh, some newer codes to Lifter LMS. If you're ever in a heading block or a paragraph block, you'll have this little down arrow where you can see Lifter LMS shortcodes and also merge codes. If I click on the shortcodes here, we can see student email address, first name, last name, address. Uh, you'll, these are shortcodes that you can use. You can copy these down and put them in your certificate. And that's what will print. If you use student first name, it will print their first name. And if you're using Lifter LMS custom fields, you'll also have all of your custom fields as options here as well. For example, license number is a popular one. If I was using Lifter LMS custom fields for license number and I was collecting that on checkout, that short code would show up right here. I also have the option for Lifter LMS merge codes, which are the same merge codes that we've had in Lifter LMS for a long time. First name, last name, the um, earned date, that's a big one. We also have this sequential certificate ID one. We'll talk about that more in a second. So those are the merge codes and short codes that you can use in your certificates, as well as any WordPress blocks you have access to. Can be added in, you can use columns, like if we look at the page here, we can see I have a three column layout with a paragraph, a spacer, and anything that you can add to the traditional WordPress block editor. You'll also see on the sidebar, we have some general certificate options like the size of our certificate. Most certificates are gonna be this eight and a half by 11, which is what it's selected to by default, but in your industry, maybe certificates are printed on legal paper or A4, you can also modify the certificate dimensions there as well. And if I go ahead and preview my certificate, let's take a look at what it looks like so far. Cool, cool. And I can modify that, change it back to letter, go ahead and preview and it will change the dimensions a little bit for me. So that, when I go to print my certificate, it will be the um, orientation that I want it to. And so yeah, we have our letter certificate there. Let's take a look at some of these other settings here. We have portrait versus landscape mode. If you wanted to have a portrait layout or a landscape layout, you can modify that here. You can also change the margins. Maybe if I wanted to have a 10% margin on top, I could do that. Uh, let's put maybe a 20% margin on top here. Go ahead and preview. Now my certificate's a little bit further down, so we can modify the margin on the side. And we can also change the background color that will print outside of my certificate around the edges here. So if I select blue as my background color, I preview in a new tab, we'll see when I go to print, that will be the color of the outside of the paper here. And if I wanted to change the interior color here, instead of just the background color as blue and my interior color here is white, that's gonna be in your background image. So currently I'm using the default background image and if you are a Lifter LMS Universe Bundle or Infinity Bundle subscriber, the Lifter LMS Graphics Pack will have a whole lot new certificate backgrounds that you can use as well. So be sure to download that zip file, unzip it and check out some of the new certificate background options as well. Uh, but the background color white is determined by the white in this image here. It's currently white on white, so you can't really see, but this is a solid white and this is transparent. 
If you wanted that blue color to come through, you would just have a transparent background right here on your white, and that blue color should come through for you. You can also upload your own background image just like you could uh, before. I have the current Lifter LMS graphics pack. Let me go ahead and add on one of my background images. There we go. Now if I were to preview this, I should have blue inside as well. There we go. Since this one is transparent, it's going to have the blue inside. So that's how you can change the colors of the background on your certificate. Another neat new feature is this sequential ID. So that's used for the sequential ID shortcode. If I wanted to use that sequential ID shortcode, I might add a paragraph block here. We'll just start typing. We'll grab one of our merge codes, the sequential ID one. I'm going to copy that and then just paste it in. Maybe I'll call it certificate number sequential ID. And so this sequential ID will be, this one should be ID number two, this certificate here. And then next one is going to be number three, number four. So that way you can have a unique ID for each of your certificates. And if you wanted your certificates to start at like number 1000, you could do that. So it appears you have a lot of certificates issued on your website. You can start anywhere you'd like on your sequential ID. So that's what's new in the certificate template area. Let's go back to the WordPress admin screen and take a look at the awarded certificates area. All of the certificates that have been awarded, who they've been awarded to, and what template they were used from, as well as the date that they were earned. You can also see the template here is a legacy one. So if I were to edit this certificate, we'll see the legacy builder. I can also uh, migrate the legacy certificate to a modern one if I'd like. I wouldn't recommend this. If your students already have a certificate that looks good to them, I would leave this one alone. But what's nice about this awarded certificates area is that you can update certificates as the admin. For example, if somebody misspelled their name, you have the option to come in here and fix the spelling issue. You have the option to come in here and change the date it was earned. And if you were to update your certificate template, for example, if you get a new background image and you change your certificate template, the awarded certificates will not be affected. But if you wanted them to be affected, we could sync this certificate so it matches the current template. So if you were to update your background image and you wanted this one to also update the background image, we could use the sync button and this one will inherit the new background image and all the settings from the template. So that is the uh, awarded certificates area here. And I can also add a new awarded certificate. So if I wanted to one off award somebody a certificate for anything, I could do that maybe uh, there was some sort of issue where they didn't complete the course or they completed the course outside of the LMS or something like that, you always have the option to come in here and manually award a certificate to a student. And similar to the certificate system, we have the achievement system. It's pretty similar to what it looked like before. We have the option for our achievement image. We have the content of the achievement, the content that will appear in the pop-up, as well as the title. And we have this awarded achievements area here too, where I can always see who this achievement was awarded to and modify the text if I'd like. Usually this is going to be a more important feature on certificates, but our developers added it to achievements as well in case that ever comes up for your website. And emails are mostly the same as well. So if I were to add an email template, it's going to look pretty much the same as it did before. And then under engagements, this area is going to look the same as well. So most of the updates here are in the certificates and achievements area for what that all looks like. So that's what's new in Lifter LMS 6.0, the new certificate system. When you update, don't worry about your old certificates breaking because they'll just change to this legacy setting. And if you'd like to migrate them to be modern certificates, you do have that option. It might mess with the formatting a little bit. You just want to come in here and make sure, you know, we center align things and then uh, all the future certificates will be awarded in the style of the template. So if you do want to update your certificates, you have the option to do that, but you can also leave them as legacy if you'd like to do that as well.
So yeah, that's about it for the new certificate system in Lifter LMS 6.0. Feel free to let us know in the comments below this video if you have any questions. My name is Will Middleton from Lifter LMS. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I will see you in the next one.